I am a night thinker. I'll get in bed probably around 12 because I wake up at eight. I intend to fall asleep around 12.30 to get my seven and a half hours, and then my brain starts racing. I start thinking about life. I start thinking about what I did wrong. I start thinking about the missteps I took to end up where I am. I just start thinking, and before I know it, it's 12.45, I fall asleep at like 1.15, I wake up tired, and I start the day off badly. But what if I told you that evaluating your life in the night is one of the worst things that you can do? Let me explain. The thing about evaluating your life when you're in the middle of it is that, first of all, you should try your hardest to not do it. You wouldn't watch a movie and in the middle of a movie you're gonna say, oh, that movie was good or that movie was bad. The movie wasn't even over yet, so how can you rate the movie? I agree that yes, movies can start out bad or start out slow, but you're not gonna get up in the middle of a movie and say, oh, that movie was bad. Well, at least I hope not. I hope you'll at least give it a chance. So why would you do that in your life? And even then, why would you do it in the middle of the night? Things also seem so much worse at night. You're stressed from all the problems that you had to deal with in the daytime. You're stressed with all the problems that you had to deal with in the evening. You're probably still a bit mad that you had to potentially stay late at work. There are a whole lot of things that can affect your mood in the evening. Add in a couple kids, a broken air conditioner here and there, realizing that you forgot to pay your credit card bill, and you're finding that your stress levels are pretty high. All these things piling up on top of each other will just get you to worry more and that's not healthy for you. But switching gears, you know what could also happen? I think you try and evaluate your life in the night because it's supposed to be the end of the day, right? Everything is calm and quiet, the world has gone to bed, at least where you are, and it's the winding down part of the day. Hopefully you're not still being bombarded with work, hopefully you have some time for yourself, but you know, that's when you start getting into your own thoughts. But see, here's the thing. It's never a good thing to evaluate your life when you're tired because your brain is gonna make things seem so much worse than they are. I remember I had a situation where I did this exact thing when I was going for my license. The night before I had the test, I was concerned that I wasn't gonna pass and it kept me up for a long time. I was second guessing everything. I was like, do I even know how to park the car anymore? Do I even know how to use the wipers? What if they ask me to parallel park? I'm gonna be fucked. But luckily I passed and they didn't ask me to parallel park, but I was second guessing myself that whole time. And during the day before the test, I wasn't worried at all because I was at work, I had other things to do, my mind wasn't left to its own thoughts. It wasn't until it was time to go to bed that I started thinking about the feat that I had to accomplish tomorrow. But I remember waking up and still feeling a little bit nervous because no one wants to know that someone is judging and critiquing every move that you make because it's just not normal. It makes you feel uncomfortable. But after waking up and getting ready and having time to ground myself, I guess you could say, a lot of my nerves went away. It was just one of those times when I was overthinking because I had the time to overthink. I feel like that's how most of us are. When we sit with our own thoughts, that's when we start overthinking and we start second guessing and it's just not a fun time for you and your mind. If you're looking for a way to solve this, I'd suggest trying to do boring things before going to bed so that your mind is still occupied but the thing is boring enough to make you tired. If there's a night where I know I have unspent energy and I don't think I'll be able to fall asleep, I try updating my budget for the month on my spreadsheet. It's very boring because I'm going back and forth and typing dates and cross-referencing prices and other things like that. So doing that definitely gets me tired for sure. But staying on the topic of budgets, you can pay some of your bills too. That's boring, it'll definitely make you tired, and you wouldn't want to spend any more money after you see how much money is leaving your bank account. Speaking of budgets, you can see how I budget and how I break things down on Google Sheets right up here. Now for this next one, I personally don't do this, but my girl occasionally takes melatonin. Melatonin comes in a pill form that you take that supposedly helps you fall asleep because it promotes regulation of your circadian rhythm. I just wanna preface this and say that I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, and I suggest doing research before taking any types of pills or anything that someone suggests on the internet. But as I said before, 
It's supposed to help your natural circadian rhythm, which is the sleep and wake cycle that your body uses. Now my girl said that it helps her out when she knows that she'll have trouble falling asleep. She doesn't take it every night, but as I said, she takes it occasionally and she said it does help her. And if I'm being honest, I would rather take a melatonin pill before going to bed versus just lying there with my mind racing. But like I said, your brain just makes things seem worse at night. And when you layer on the fact that you're tired, it just makes it even worse. I guarantee that if you wake up the next day, the problem won't seem as bad because now you're looking at it with a night of rest under your belt and all of yesterday's hustle and bustle has been erased because it's a new day. You're way better off tackling the problem from a logical angle and I guarantee the problem won't seem as bad because you're looking at it from a different and rested perspective. It's like cleaning off your glasses in a sense. If you don't wear glasses then it's hard to explain but it's like trying to see when there are a whole bunch of things like obstructing your vision. The whole point of this video is to try and get you to try to not evaluate your life when you're tired or even in the nighttime. All it's gonna do is make your problems seem worse than they are and that won't help anyone. I think it's best to try and work out your problems with a clear mind because then you're thinking logically, you don't have brain fog and everything else seems less daunting when you don't have problems from the previous day still on your mind. I hope this video brought you some value and as always, thanks for watching.